You didn't even finish this one. Yeah, I would. Hey guys, we are at this beautiful new Airbnb. It's in a vineyard in Stellenbosch. I am very burnt, as you can see. Guys, you gotta check out this place. It is beautiful. New day, sky crashes into the sea. Holding everything in place. What falls apart starts coming back together. Stars burn out and become new. Can't predict. All right, guys, we're here at Waterford Wine Estate. We're gonna do some wine and chocolate tasting. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. Um, a beef tie-in, but I'm ready for it. Guys, I think every woman needs wine and chocolate, so just tell them, your boys, your men, to bring you here for wine and chocolate. Just see. I guess what guys, it's just like two minutes and someone is <laughs> You can't stop laughing. Someone is already feeling dizzy and he couldn't even finish this. So I think I'm good at it. I'll help him. It's just not good at taking out. Just imagine one, two, blood. I'm just already I'm feeling this thing. <laughs> just imagine, just look at this. <laughs> she refused to test another, like, you know, the white wine because he's feeling this already and I'm like, nah, I can go for it so I'm going to test other two of them 
like very white wines. Can you imagine? You didn't even finish this one. Yeah, I will. Mm. What about the chocolate? Mm. I think today is my best day so far. So all the other grapes come from um, other farms throughout Stellenbosch and the Elgin Sauvignon Blanc, we get the grapes from Elgin. A lot better conditions for growing the grapes, chalky soils, good climate, nice little sea breeze that runs through there as well. Um, and then this wine that I'm pouring for you now is our old vine project, Shannon Blanc. So this is one of my personal favorites. Oh, um, wow. <laughs> basically what the old vine project is, it's just basically needs to provide the plant to the city by So these pl um, particular blocks were launched back in 1966. A little bit older than 35 years, um, and all it really needs is that the quality of the grape is going to be at a much higher standard. Um, it does produce a little bit of a smaller quantity of it. So, with that, we want to try and highlight the grape as much as possible when we create it. So, we want to not put it into a normal old barrel. We're going to put it into a concrete um, egg because that way we're really going to reduce the um, old effluent on the wine and you really just want to highlight the grape there as far as possible. And then, this last one that I'm going to Nice big clock is 100% my favorite wine. Um, oh. 2017 Chardonnay. <laughs> <laughs> 2017 Chardonnay. Uh, so, like I said, it's the only white um, variety of grapes that we grow here on the farm. So, it's an estate wine, everything happens right here, and it's a single vineyard. So, it's 100% Chardonnay. It's got a nice drinkability quality to it. Um, and it's going to be a nice wine to say because you almost have a sip of it and then you're at the bottom of the bottle. It's one of those kind of wines that goes very, very quickly. Um, but it's got a really lovely Because you drank them in the same breath. Mm. This one is different. Yeah. So I understand that is why this time is this. I have to go because they are all different. You can test it. And this one here. You see it like the other side. A little bit. Mm. Yeah. I like that one. Yep. Yeah. But unfortunately, they are all my. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed your red ones and they made you feel busy. Me, I'm just starting. Guys, I'm happy. <laughs> 